Hey guys, this is Josh with Curian here to talk to you about the N2 and temperature testing. As we've already mentioned, the N2 comes with two thermocouples, uh, and this is for the fact that in a release after this video has been made, we will be sub sending out a new update that allows you to take two external measurements at the same time. However, what we're going to go ahead and start out with is showing you how to do your K-type temperature testing. So first off, in the uh, math functions, we're going to go ahead and tap Thermal K. Now we've already done that, we're here. You're going to notice two readings, internal temperature and your Thermal K type. Now internal temperature is internal to the unit. Now this is not your most accurate ambient temperature, but it will give you a pretty good, within a degree or two, uh, temperature reading of what's going on ambiently. And so if you had had it outside for a while, or it's been sitting in the shop, the ambient temperature of the shop within a degree or two is going to be what your internal temp is. Then of course your thermal couple K here is going to be what the actual temperature is of the thermal couple. Now how you can use this uh, today, and we've got our little AC vent here that we're going to show off. If I was to do my temperature testing for AC, as I have my AC on, and I am testing the inside of the uh, the vent to the right of the main console. I can actually take my N2 with this five foot, and I've got it kind of wrapped up here because it's long, but it's it's about, it's almost five feet of, of a K-type thermometer here. I can actually take that, put that out and around either the windshield for ambient um, and get a pretty good idea of what outside temperature subtracting inside temperature is. And in this case, if, uh, this temperature in here was actually coming out of an AC and you have a 75 degree difference between ambient, what you're gonna have is 25, um, 25 degrees difference. Now that's almost good, but it would indicate that my air conditioning is not quite as efficient as it should be. And eventually here soon enough, we will get you some more interpretations on that and, and next step action items. But quite simply, that is how you take your K-type thermometer readings now the other side of it, to show you something hot, I'm going to come over here and we'll touch it to a light bulb. And you're going to go ahead and see this temperature rising very drastically, and it may even get itself into 100 plus degrees. If you've ever tapped one of those with your forearm or your fingers as you're playing around, you guys know how hot they can get searing your skin. So anyways, there you go. That's uh, K-type thermometer testing and a little bit of info regarding the internal temperature. Now, although I've covered this in a few other videos, I do want to say this, the N2, um, oops, yeah, that was right. So when you're connected to your N2, you come back into the sync screen, there is a setting button there that allows you to go from Fahrenheit to Celsius. Sorry, so we had Fahrenheit on. If you don't want to, just turn it off and you can use Celsius. Uh, but I'm imperial kind of guy, so there we go. Please do feel free to give us a call, shoot us an email, join the community if you have any questions, comments, uh, do one-on-one -on -one trainings with us. We'd love to help you out with your end too. Thanks so much and have a great day. Bye-bye. <laughs>